People say that we have now a very good uh, business model because um, with the MP3 players and all the appliances that they developed in uh, in and out, um, there you make people deaf and with uh, hearing aids you compensate for it in one way or the other. Well, this is not quite um, quite true. Of course, um, there we have other things to do, and not only um, the. Um, MP3 players make people deaf. It's rather another problem, namely, um, it's more a problem of aging. Hearing impairment is the most common sensory disease that is around in um, our population. Uh, it um, uh, stretches out to about 80% of our population. And with increasing age, the risk of uh, getting a hearing loss increases. going to talk about. Of course there will be a short introduction, but then I can promise a lot of audio, um, <clears throat> most of our speech, and then a little bit of music. We already hear some in the background, but we will pay back by playing some music here. And sound, so neither speech nor music, um, audio, and what can be done there, and what might be commercially of interest um, now or in the near future. And speaking of the near future, this talk will be concluded by some tea leaf reading, so we will do some um, speculation on what will be next. When we talk about consumer electronics and the power grid, it's a matter of interaction. The power grid causes voltages which impact the consumer electronics and the consumer electronics causes currents which impact the grid. That's a better one, thank you. Um, there are different kinds of changes in the grid voltage that impact consumer electronics. All kinds of equipment connected to it, basically. And then, the electronics part, or consumer electronics current, impacts the grid again. And it could damage neighboring equipment. And even here, it could impact. All this can impact and even damage the human equipment as well. It's very short. I just want to uh, repeat what I've been saying uh, at this point in time. So we have a great aging population. I can also show you now the data from the US uh, in here. Uh, but it's the same trend in all, almost all highly developed countries. Um, well, this for a semiconductor industry means we have a big market. And the market is growing. That's a good sign. And on top of this, I think we have, we have a challenge to, to, to really capture this market and we want to capture the market of the health people because we want to prevent them to get ill and not, we will not, will not start at a point where the people are already ill. So that's, that's the challenge and the vision I have in, in here. First of all, I just want to give a, a bit of the background. I asked myself uh, which is the connection between consumer electronics and, and healthcare technology. Uh, so the CE, the consumer electronics, uh, was always a, a driver for the healthcare technology uh, since a long time ago. So without the television, it would never have been uh, come to the development of an electron microscope, for example. Without the radio, uh, the radio led in the last uh, consequence to the development of, of, of an NMR, for example, of an uh, imaging uh, device.
prevention, treatment, and management of illness and the preservation of mental and physical well-being through the service offered by the medical and uh, uh, allied health professionals. This afternoon we are speaking to Dr. Tom Coughlin. I wonder if you could tell me a little bit about the future directions. I'd be glad to, Scott. So uh, in the Consumer Electronics Society, we've actually identified a number of different technologies that we are working, uh, working with various people in the society and even people outside the society in order to explore. Those include things like home health, they include um, smart vehicles, they include uh, uh, 3D printing or home fabrication, um, internet of things when everything is basically connected to the internet. Just uh, there's a, about, it's actually almost any technology that you can think of could be used for consumer electronics. There's almost very few areas that would be outside the scope of what we could do. So we've got groups of people that have interest in various things and uh, we're trying to promote what's gonna be happening in the long-term future. I'm now talking to Petra Friedrich, who is the general chair of the conference this year. Um, this year has a very interesting general theme. Um, could you tell us why you felt that the um, home health care was such a, a prominent field? Yes, I can. Um, healthcare is our hot topic this year of uh, the conference ICC Berlin 2013 because uh, yeah, there are many, many open questions in, in for the society in the field of uh, healthcare, in the field of uh, um, um, the demographic uh, changes and for elderly people, or for growing more and more elderly. Thank you. 